Hey guys, I just wanted to make another uh, video about my car after five years and 115,000 miles. So I noticed last time I did a full charge from zero to 100%, I was only getting like 259 miles. And this car originally came with 310 miles as the range on a full charge. So I was kind of getting concerned about the health of the battery pack. So uh, last night uh, when I got home from work, it was actually down to 2% battery. So I decided it was a good opportunity to go ahead and give it another full charge. So I set the charge limit to 100% and I'm charging on uh, AC level two. So it's a nice slow charge. And uh, you see now we're up to 99% uh, again. And if I click over to miles, it's up to 272. So this is way better than the last time I charged it. For some reason, the last time it was only giving me 259 miles at uh, 99 or 100 percent so this is good to see um, it looks like um, the battery is a little bit more healthy than I thought it was so I'm just gonna let this charge to full and see how many miles it gets but it's down to uh, three kilowatts so I know we're getting towards the top of the the uh, charge here because it's starting to uh, limit the power I also have uh, scan my Tesla here so you could take a look at all the stats Battery voltage, 403 volts. Um, let's see here. DC charge total, 15,568 kilowatt hours. AC charge total, 25,230 kilowatt hours. So this has been AC charged. This car's been AC charged about two thirds of the time and DC charged about one third of the time. That's fast charging. Nominal full pack, it says is 67 kilowatt hours. Energy buffer, three kilowatt hours. It says we're at 100% on my app here however on the screen it still shows 99 percent it's still uh, just trying to top balance all the cells i believe cell temp right now is about 34 degrees celsius cell volt max 4.2 volts that's the very top charge for uh, lithium ion cells is 4.2 volts so when you get there you know that you're about uh, 100 percent charged the minimum cell voltage out of all the cells is 4.19 volts and the cell imbalance, this is very important because this tells you the difference between the top and the bottom cells. You want them to be very close together. That means you have a healthy pack. If you have one cell or a group of cells that's underperforming, that's going to lead to a pack failure in the future. And then the amp hours, uh, min is 192, max 195, average 193. Discharge cycle 690 and a charge cycle 719. And let's see, let's just go over to BMS here. And this just go this just goes ahead and lists all of the modules and their associated voltages. And as long as these are all pretty similar to each other, then you know you have a pretty healthy battery pack. If there's a uh, one or more cells that are underperforming or significantly lower voltage than the others, then you know that you could have an issue coming up in the future with your battery pack. So uh, considering it's back to 272 miles on a full charge, I'm a little bit more confident that this battery will last um, quite a bit longer. Um, the, one of the reasons I was concerned is because the warranty on this battery runs out at 120,000 miles and it has 115,000 miles right now. So I only have 5,000 miles left on the battery warranty. So if anything should happen um, after the warranty runs out, then I will be responsible for uh, paying that fee to fix it. But you see the lowest cells are at 4.19, so we're looking pretty good right now. I'm just going to run through the cell voltages here and scan my Tesla so you can see that they're all right up there at about 4.19. And there's 96 um, cell cell uh, blocks in series on this car and 96 cells in series at 4.2 volts equals your 400 and some volts of the uh, battery pack all right we're down to two kilowatts of charge power remaining 66 kilowatt hours added nine out of 30 amps still at 99 percent so it is taking a good amount of charge, still holding 66 kilowatt hours. Okay, so just to give you an idea of what's going on during this balancing process at the top, you see some of the cells are already at 4.2 volts and those cells will not accept any more charge. So that's as far as they're gonna go is 4.2 volts. 
And so what it's doing now in terms of balancing is you see these cells that are a little bit less than 4.2, like 4.19. Those are the cells that are taking the charge here at the end. So you see there's a few cells that are just a little bit less than 4.2 volts. And in my case, uh, the, the biggest ones are, looks like cell 74 through 84. 74 through 84, you see all this black area in here? That's just showing you that the cells are less than 4.2 volts by the highest margin. So they're 4.19 to, uh, I'm sorry, 4.193 to 4.194, which uh, the graph makes it look like it's a much larger delta than it really is. We're only talking about um, seven thousandths of a volt between the lowest cells and the highest cells in this battery pack. So overall, it's still looking pretty good. It's just that these cells here are very, very slightly underperforming the rest of the cells when it comes to uh, full charge. And this is still well within uh, tolerance and I'm not concerned about the health of uh, this battery pack. And just to give you an idea of what um, the health of the battery is, just using very anecdotal evidence. My car's so dirty. Overall, for a car that's five years old, it's in really good condition, though. All right, so it did go to charging complete, and uh, for a moment it showed 274 miles. Now it went down to 273 for some reason, but you see it added 268 miles of range and added 66 kilowatt hours and it made it 200%. So overall I would say this was a good charge test.